Hey guys, it's the Fearless Beanie, and in this one, I'm going to show you Mesa's abilities and a couple of builds as well. Let's get into it. Mesa's passive provides bonuses to secondary weapons. If they are one handed, a 25% reload speed buff, and if they're dual wielded, a 15% fire rate buff. Mesa also gets an additional 50 health if no melee weapon is equipped. Moving on to her first ability, Ballistic Battery. It converts a percentage of total damage inflicted by her primary and secondary weapons into stored bonus weapon damage, which is then used upon the next shot fired when the ability is deactivated. Even though I specifically mentioned primary and secondary weapons, an exception to the rule are gun blades. They also contribute towards the stored bonus damage, but the bonus damage itself does not affect gun blade damage. Since beam weapons fire continuously, the stored bonus damage from ballistic battery applies to the whole magazine, provided you fire it all at once. The Augment mod Ballistic Bullseye allows the shots enhanced by ballistic battery to deal status effects. Let's move on to shooting gallery. Mesa releases a temporary energy lasso that revolves around her, buffing her weapon damage by a certain percentage. The lasso hits three enemies within a certain radius every one and a half seconds, causing them to have their weapons jammed or stunning them in place for a short time. If you're playing in a group, shooting gallery affects your teammates as well, although it'll affect them with a shorter duration than it affects you. Bonus damage is affected by ability strength, duration is affected by ability duration, and stun radius is affected by ability range. The Augment mod Muzzle Flash will emit a blinding flash around Mesa once 6 enemies are killed, temporarily stunning enemies. These 6 enemies must be killed by Mesa or her allies, while Shooting Gallery is active. Moving on to Shatter Shield. Activating this ability casts an energy shield around Mesa, lasting for a limited time, which reduces all incoming damage by up to 95%. It reflects hit scan bullets back to the attacker and diverts non hit scan projectiles randomly up to 45 degrees from the point of impact. Projectile based knockdowns are resisted, but radial blasts from shockwave mowers or heavy gunners will bypass Shatter Shield. Shatter Shield also does not protect Mesa from melee damage. Damage reduction is affected by ability strength up to a maximum of 95%, which you need 119% ability strength to achieve. Duration is affected by ability duration, and radius is affected by ability range. The Augment mod Staggering Shield, as its name would suggest, gives a chance for shots reflected by Shatter Shield to stagger enemies. Finally, Peacemaker. Mesa's signature ability. She pulls out her regulator pistols and fires at enemies within a focus ring which appears around her aiming reticle. Mesa cannot move while this ability is active. Holding down the fire button fires at random enemies within 50 meters and within vision of the focus ring. Rate of fire ramps up from 25% to 100% over 3.5 seconds when firing. This rate resets if you stop firing. As you shoot, the ring contracts in size, decreasing its field of vision slowly down to 15 degrees. To to reset the focus ring, the ability must be recast. This is a channeled ability, so it'll remain active for as long as you have energy. It's also restricted by line of sight, so you have to be able to see the enemies to shoot them. Peacemaker has a built-in damage buff, and once Mesa pulls out the regulators, she gets a damage buff on top of this, and a final third damage buff once she starts firing. All gunshots have a 300% critical multiplier with a 25% critical chance, 10% status chance, and 100% pinpoint accuracy. Keep in mind, regulators will not hit headshots as they aim for the center of the torsos of enemies. Damage buffs are affected by ability strength. The radius of the focus ring is affected by ability range. Remember, the effective range of Peacemaker itself is not. Activation energy cost and energy drain are both affected by ability efficiency, while energy drain is also affected by ability duration. The Augment mod Mesa's Waltz allows Mesa to slowly move at 50% of her normal pace while Peacemaker is active. 
All right, let's get into some basic gameplay. Generally, you always want Shadow Shield active. It's your only form of damage reduction and one that keeps you mobile. Then for regular gameplay, switch on Shooting Gallery. It's a damage buff with some minimal crowd control as well. It affects Peacemaker's regulators too, so if you plan on using them, activate this first. Peacemaker is your crowd clear tool, or to deal a bunch of damage to a singular target quickly. Always ensure Shadow Shield and Shooting Gallery are already active. You can't cast them while Peacemaker is active. Peacemaker gameplay is all about positioning, check your radar for where enemies are coming from, position yourself, activate your two other abilities and then activate Peacemaker. Watch your energy levels and watch your focus ring, when either gets too constricted, recast the ability. Alright, now let's get into the builds. I'll cover the regulators first as I'm only showing one build for them. Keep in mind I'm using Mesa Prime and thus Regulators Prime here. Adjust if necessary if you're using the regular Mesa. Three formas, Primed Target Cracker and Pistol Gambit for a further crit boost. Non-Primed versions will work fine as well. Galvanized Diffusion is a strictly better Barrel Diffusion. Use Barrel Diffusion if you don't have the Galvanized mod yet. Then two Fire Rate mods, Lethal Torrent which also buffs your multi-shot and Anemic Agility which takes away a negligible amount of physical damage. The fire rate is key here. Then 3 status mods. Generally Prime Tiered Charge is necessary as it's the only Prime status mod for secondaries and will greatly impact your damage per second. Pairing heat with either Viral or Corrosive should be fine. Generally Corrosive works better for me at higher levels but feel free to swap out the elementals as you wish. Let's get into the Mesa builds. Here's a simple one former build that I generally use for the index. The lack of range is self-explanatory as Mesa doesn't benefit from it at all. Survivability mods are absent here since it's just for the index and Shadow Shield will keep you alive just fine. So since we don't need survivability, we're able to throw in more strength to get Peacemaker's damage multiplier up. Energize is a necessity here as you'll need the initial energy boost when you start out. The other arcane slot is completely optional, Avenger is fine, Velocity is better. So for this one, you'll always want the outpost map, which you can guarantee by queuing for the index from your dojo. Get to this spot here and blast away. Just monitor your energy levels. For other general gameplay, 4 Forma are put in for some survivability mods while maintaining a healthy amount of duration and efficiency to keep your abilities active. Remember again, range is useless, so mod around that. This is the general idea of the build, swap the mods around based on what you have. The idea is to balance out strength and duration while having a healthy amount of efficiency and some survivability for higher levels. If you want to go all Umbral, swap out Vitality for Umbral Vitality with an Umbral Forma. Vigilante Pursuit is here so that you have a better idea of where enemies are before you go activating Peacemaker. Again, Arcane Energize is essential for your energy upkeep. Velocity is ideal in the other slot, otherwise Avenger is okay. If you're looking for helmet ideas, generally you replace Ballistic Battery as it has minimal utility with the rest of Mesa's kit, replace it with Rhino's Raw or Ember's Fire Blast, depending on if you want more strength to further buff your Peacemaker or if you're looking to strip armor in the Steel Path. So Mesa is usable in almost any mission, be it in a group or for solo play. Whether you're defending, exterminating or assassinating, as long as you keep Shadow Shield up and utilize Peacemaker at the appropriate times, Mesa has a place everywhere at any time. With that, I hope this helped you out. This is the Faces Beanie, signing out.